So this tree um, is the tree that I uh, showed you earlier defoliating um, so we could get to see the structure of the tree and actually put wire on it. So now the tree has all been wired out. Um, it looks a little odd and it, it is kind of an odd um, styling of a tree for um, a bald cypress because bald cypress tend to be um, flat top in nature, kind of like this guy here, which um, Rodney had worked on earlier. You know, people may look at this and say that, you know, there's no tree there, but this bald cypress, um, Rodney was stating earlier, is, is a one to 20 ratio. So for every inch in uh, trunk caliper, you go 20 inches in height. So it would be a really big tree. Um, and this would be a flat top style, which is the style that you would actually see in the Everglades and in the swamps in Louisiana. You get this big, tall tree, because all the trees are kind of competing with each other to get to the sun. So you'd have this big top, and this is just its first styling, but it'll be a big flat top tree. Um, so this is a very atypical, um, but here in the north, we tend to think of these large conifers, um, which uh, this is a deciduous conifer as being these very tall pyramidal trees like pines and, and spruces. So they get very tall and, and these conical shapes. What with age, they eventually will dome um, like a large pine wood. So this is its uh, wiring out. And so we wired this all out to get these branches put in place um, to get a jump on the season basically for next spring. Um, so, and I've also, again, like I said in the first video about this tree, we let them grow long and tall to help heal over these large wounds here. And getting more energy passing by this wound will increase um, how quickly it heals over. So this, is, this guy's already wired up and ready to go away for the winter. Um, and in the spring, we'll be taking this wire off uh, probably in um, May or so, uh, late middle to late May, this wire will come off. Um, so it doesn't cut into the, the branches. So we'll revisit this tree again next year. Where's the front? The front of the tree is right towards you now. Okay. So this, this uh, secondary trunk kind of peeks out from behind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a really old tree. This tree is probably well over 100 years old, possibly even much older. Um, hard to tell because it was, uh, as I said in the first video about it, it's a wild tree, Yamadori, collected from the swamps. So um, this is a... a continuing uh, pruning and wiring and shaping and styling of this tree and like I said before we'll revisit it next year. Sounds good.